S M D Bros. Boy, do I want to talk about this channel. SMD Bros is a channel created on October 12th, 2017, but didn't really make a video until March 5th of 2020, aka two years ago. I have been watching his channel since the day I found him. Or, to be correct, he found me. I'll never forget me randomly getting a follow from him and getting into one of his live streams for the first time. Now that I have grown up more since the first time I've been watching this channel, I'm now seeing issues with this channel that need to be addressed. Now, before I start, I just want to say that I do not hate SMD bros. I don't hate him as a content creator, nor as a person. I actually find SMD bros to be a decent channel. But there have been some problems with this channel that have been slowly fading in to the point where they fully show themselves. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Before we start, I want to let you know about something. This video will be put into three segments. The first segment will be about the channel's inconsistency. The second will be about things questionably happening, and the third will be about him copying off of other channels. Let's start with the first, shall we? <coughs> One of the main problems I have with this channel is the inconsistency. SMD bros can be inconsistent sometimes, like Bowser being your friend at one point, but then there's all of a sudden a villain in the next inconsistent. A perfect example of this is him changing his Mario plush. For starters, there's this one plush he wants to use for Cousin Mario, but then all of a sudden uses that same plush for normal Mario. Then he goes back to using the normal Mario plush for normal Mario and uses a new plush for Cousin Mario, only for that same plush to be used for a Mario from a different world. Only, only for that plush to be used for normal Mario. Only, only, only for him to go back to using the normal Mario plush for normal Mario and never use that plush again, I think. SMD bros, make up your mind. Is Bowser a villain or not? Which plush are you gonna use for a different character? It gets really confusing when you do something like that. Which makes people start asking some questions. Speaking of questions, I have a bunch of those of my own about the things I'm about to talk about in my next point. Another problem I have with SMD are the questionably unexplained things. There are times where something questionable happens that go unexplained. For starters, in his recent Wario Land video, there's a scene where Wario fights Bowser Jr. The moment Wario keeps continuously beating up Jr., he all of a sudden says that he'll help Wario. Wait, what the fuck? Come to uh, take that Wario time! Come in, you stupid turtle! Ow! Ow! Oh, oh, ow! Okay, Wario, time out! Time out! Ugh! And why should I, huh? You trying to kill me! Uh, listen, Wario, I can help you save the princess. You just gotta let me help you. I hate my dad as much as you do. I wish you wouldn't kidnap the princess sometimes. But I can help you, Wario. Let me help you, don't kill me, please! Huh? Literally seconds before that, you said that you were going to stop him from saving Mario and the others, and now you want to help him? And if you didn't want to capture the princess, then why weren't you, oh, I don't know, trying to reason with him? Heck, why weren't you telling Wario that you didn't want to fight and just wanted to help him in the first place? Why did it have to take you getting a counterattack to reason with him? 
you literally almost killed yourself because you don't know how to reason with people immediately. Sh like this is what led me to giving up on this channel after Zombie Apocalypse Part 4. But I believe that the best example of this is in his Zombie Apocalypse Part 1 video. No, not that one. Nope, not that one. Mm -mm, no, not that one. Nope, not that one. Nah, not that one. That one. In the video, Mario and the others are all of a sudden fighting zombies. After that, they all start having a discussion about whether or not they should stay. Bowser brings up Luigi and Mario says this. Don't bring up my brother's death. Not here. Not now. We need to keep going. Who knows where Luigi's at? He could be dead. He could be lost. Till then we will never know. Just keep going. Stop bringing up Luigi's death. It's not cool. Let's go. Let's keep him move out. Wait, what? Really? <laughs> really? What? No, 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 no. Seriously, what? First off, he says that Luigi is dead, right? But now, he says that he is missing. I know I should have put this in the inconsistent part, but it's best if I talk about it here while I still have time. SMD bros, again, make up your mind. Is Luigi dead or missing? Again, it gets confusing when you do something like that. Second off, how did he die or go missing? Nothing really explains how, because the video starts off with them fighting zombies, and we don't know how or why. <sighs> Let's move on before I start to get a headache. The final problem I have with SMD Bros is the fact that he has copied other plush tubers' ideas and even plots. And what's worse is that he's still doing it. One of his recent videos, The Toad Problem, generic title I know, involves Mario and the others freeing Toad from the closet and Toad doing some crazy stuff right after. Hmm, you're probably wondering what this is a copy of. Oh yeah, that's right, Rage Mario Bros' video, The Troublemaking Toad. Better title I know. This whole video is literally that. The ideas, the plot, almost everything. Mario! Let me in! Somebody in the basement. The only difference is being that, one, it's shorter, two, this time it wasn't Bowser that put him in there, and three, it's a complete f***ing downgrade. What makes this worse is that, even though the original has more views than the copy, since SMD has more subs, people might check out his video and believe that he made the idea first and not Rage, and will assume that Rage copied SMD instead of the other way around. And knowing how people nowadays will choose popularity and sub count over truth, trust me, me and my friends are experienced, this could be the case. While this is an example of SMD copying plush tubers, a perfect example of this is his three year anniversary video. For those who don't know, two years ago, SMD made an anniversary video to celebrate how long he's been on YouTube. Sounds innocent enough, right? WRONG! This video is literally just a straight up copy of Awesome Mario Bros' 5 year anniversary video. With the only differences being, one, it's a lot shorter, and two, it's again, a complete f***ing downgrade. Yeah, Luigi, we have a YouTube channel. Um, so, uh, basically, we joined, uh, like, I think... Luigi, you know what this means? Uh, I don't even want to know what. I've been on YouTube for three whole years! This should be a celebration! Wait, Luigi, what? Check when the video was made. 
Yeah, it had to be like a long time ago. Let's see. Yeah, I can tell. Published on yeah, August anyway, 19th, 2015. 5 in the morning. Wait a minute. Wait. Mario. What? August 19th. Yeah? That was our first ever video. Yeah? That's tomorrow. So that means tomorrow is our five year anniversary on YouTube. Yeah, I, I guess it does. Dude, this is like this is like a big occasion. Like, we we need to celebrate. Now, we should invite all our YouTube friends. Wait, we have YouTube friends? When did we ever have YouTube friends? It's been a while, Luigi likes Super Dave films, Crazy Morton films, uh, Pablo God, uh, uh, Cat Mario, Super Cat Mario, Super Mario Cat. I meant sorry. But yeah, we have loads of friends. Why don't we throw a party or a pool party? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Let's throw a pool party. Um, uh, um. We can, we can invite all of our YouTube friends. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, some of them might have to come from Canada, but, you know, that's totally fine. Okay, um, um, okay, we need to make a list. We need to make a list. Um, who do we want? Um, oh, um, uh, Super Mario 134. Oh, yeah, he's a cool dude. He made really good burgers at his, at his cookout. Um, I don't know, uh, Super Mario Richie. Oh, Super Mario Richie's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how about Sonic Wacker 55? Oh, yeah, that would be fun to have at the party. Yeah, um... Uh, Crazy Mario Bros. Yeah, Crazy Mario Bros. He's a cool dude. Um, Ice Flower Films. He sucks. I know, right? Just kidding, Ice. I love you. Anyway, um, uh, who else? Uh, what about Lego SML? Who? Lego SML. He's not even a plus channel. I'll still invite him. Alright, sounds good. Do, do, do. Uh, oh yeah, they're going good, Mario. Don't worry. I'm a good chef, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna turn this up to grease. Okay, got the burgers. Got some cheese on them already. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Okay. I am going to start in on the chicken. Put it up there in a little bit. Let those cook for a while. Ugh. If there's any revisions to the party right there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, probably honestly just gonna sit. I'm tired. And what makes this a whole lot worse is that the video wasn't even posted on the day he joined YouTube or started doing YouTube. Thank goodness he made an original anniversary video a few years later, but there's still a problem with it, which is the video celebrating how long he's been on YouTube instead of how long he's made videos on YouTube. Heck, even one of his subscribers pointed this out. Let's just move on, shall we? The video's almost long anyway, and I don't want it to take too long. Before we end off the video, <laughs> I have a dishonorable mention that I want to talk about. I'll try not to be too long, so let's just immediately get to it. I've noticed that SD Bros has an obsession with continuously remaking the zombie apocalypse series. And I just want to ask. Why? Like, why? His recent Zombie Apocalypse video is like the sixth time he's remade this series. It's like he saw the popularity of the original series and kept remaking to see if they'll get the same effect. Anyway, that's all I needed to say. Let's get to the end now. Before we end the video, again, I just want to state, again, <laughs> That I do not hate SMD bros. This was just me criticizing his flaws and hoping that he improves once he sees this video, which I know he will. Once again, I think he's a decent plush tuber, but who knows? Maybe when he tries to improve, he'll be more than just a decent plush tuber. But alas, only time will tell. And with all that being said, Make sure to not like and subscribe because I make horrible videos, and I will see you later. Hold up! You saw the title of the video, right? We can't really end the video off without talking about the good things about this channel. So, without further ado, let's get into the good stuff. <coughs> what are the good things about this channel? Well... The editing is pretty decent, not something I would call amazing compared to, uh, let's say Richie's editing, but not awful either. The thumbnails have improved, 
a lot. And the video quality has gotten a little better over time. And, uh, yeah, that's all the good stuff. Very few of them, but hey, like I said, once he sees this video, he might try to improve. And that's the actual end of the video. I hope you guys didn't enjoy the video. And with all that being said, make sure to not like and subscribe because I make horrible videos. And I will see you later.